Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, finally, we're going to look at a scanner that I can get behind. This is the X-Tool D8BT. It's Bluetooth, which means no more cable that's going to get in the way, make you angry, and want to smash things. I really like this scanner. It's one of the newest ones out. It's bi-directional, of course. It's got 38 service functions. You can do key programming, full system diagnostics, and PMI. PMI is for Ford Mazda owners. You can upload the old module data to new module J2534 without using that. Which, if you have a Ford or Mazda, would come in handy. But for me, we're going to hook this up to my Volkswagen Jetta. <clears throat> because the X-Tools in the past had a hard time reading the VIN and getting the data that I needed. So, first thing we got to do, we got to register it, boot it up. Take a couple hours to get all the data, all the updates done. And then we're going to hook it up to my Jetta. And we're going to see first time use, what I can view. Well, actually, I'm pretty impressed. The first two X tools couldn't read the VIN, but this one here can. I'm just trying to angle it. Even tells you your mileage right off the bat. Full system diagnosis. Let's go for that. Actually, I want to do like an automatic scan. I'm pretty impressed with this right off the bat. See if I get my normal codes, like the Kessies in the passenger door. Uh, we got the fan issue we got to deal with sometime. Uh-oh. Access start authorization failure one. What's going on with that? Takes a while to scan because it's got to go through. All the modules, like it says 27 out of 49. Let's have a look at the report. Door handle, yeah, I know about that one. Windshield wiper stop switch, no signal communication. Interesting. Control module coded incorrectly. That's because I got the backup camera. I like that. That's pretty cool. We're going to exit out of that. Nope, my engine's not listed in there. So this is kind of like... quick way to check out options automatically unlock so I can modify it quickly that's kind of neat automatic lock open Door will automatically lock when vehicle speed reaches 15 kilometers an hour. So this is what I find interesting. You go to the common special features, or you can uh, steering machine troubleshooting. Remember the codes I had? We well, can go into there, but does not have the. Uh, diesel fuel system purge. Wonder if I can. Wonder if I have to go into the special features in the front. Let's go into special function. So there's a lot of special function. Oil reset. I can jump to that. Injector coating. If I need to change injector, what's the DPF? It's Volkswagen listed. 
go to Europe. Yeah, Volkswagen's listed, but I don't need to do a DPF burn. Uh, na, 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 na. Is there a fuel system? Speed limit. That's not in there for North America, or say for the Volkswagen. I don't see it in here either. Start, stop, reset. Control unit, reset. Headlights. Let's see if I can find it in the system somewhere. So the fuel pump is definitely running here. And it'll keep on running. So you go to the next test. Auxiliary fuel pump. Now we're running both. So you can run the fuel pump in the rear and the auxiliary fuel pump in the front, which is actually really cool. But the problem, you have to go into actuation test and you gotta go through a whole bunch of other tests that you just keep skipping through until you get to the fuel pump. So it is possible. It's just not as easy to get to as you may find in some other scanners. So now I just got started. We're gonna read some live data. If you just wanna see everything, just go to the custom list and everything. is all listed. I like this scanner. What's really cool about this, let's say, you wanna see a graph. So I'm just gonna go to the RPM right here. I haven't had any surgery with my TDI in a while and all my fuel injection values are all pretty close to zero, which is good. Kind of interesting, I haven't seen in other scanners. It shows particulate filter, differential pressure, temperatures before turbocharger, and then coming down, regeneration request, Particulate filter amount of ashes. This scanner goes pretty in depth with everything. Fuel consumption since last regeneration 37 liters, 690 kilometers since last regeneration. That's pretty neat. There's a lot of things on this scanner that I need to play around with still. There is a lot of things. Get out of here. Like I said, the special functions there's a lot of special functions, key coding, tire upgrade. And always keep in mind, not every vehicle can utilize these here features. It's just basically what your vehicle allows you to do. But I'm pretty impressed with the scanner so far. This is my third X-Tool scanner. And this very well could be my new favorite scan tool that I'm going to be using 
all the time when I'm working on things. In the future, I'm going to do some more tests with the scanner, but you can see the X-Tool D8 compared to the 819 that I did a little while ago. The D8 is a lot bigger. It's Bluetooth and has more features. It's only like a couple hundred dollars more to spend the extra money. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.